Hey all, ever download a massive new model for Comfy UI and wonder why it eats up all your VRAM or why some smaller models look a bit fuzzy? Today, we're going to talk about a secret weapon for your AI art, DFloat 11 or DF11. It's a game changer for getting the highest quality from the smallest models right here in Comfy UI. Think of your AI model like a giant book of art knowledge. Every word and color inside needs memory on your graphics card. We call that VRAM. The problem is, if your VRAM can't hold the model, your image generation slows way down or just stops. GUF is like taking that giant art book and running it through a copy machine that only uses a few shades of color. It squishes the model down a lot, making it small enough to run on almost any computer, even with a weak GPU or just your CPU. But sometimes, this squishing makes the details a little rough or the colors slightly off. You save a ton of size, but you lose quality. DFloat 11 is different. It's like taking that giant art book and finding a way to compress it perfectly, like a zip file. It was invented when smart people realized that the big models waste space on unnecessary numbers. DFloat 11 just removes the wasted space, keeping every single important number the same. It's lossless, meaning the image it makes is the same as the huge original model but the file is about 30% smaller. If you want the absolute best quality image, you need a high precision model like BF16. But if that model is too big for your VRAM, you're stuck. DFloat 11 solves this. It gives you the full BF16 quality, but its smaller size is much more likely to fit on your GPU. The output is bit for bit identical. Because the DFloat 11 model is 30% smaller, your GPU has more space left over. You can use that extra space to run a larger, more powerful model or process your image with a bigger batch size without crashing. GGUF is often slower for the same quality because it needs to do extra math during the generation process. DFloat 11 is fast because it's a perfect compression. Okay, enough for the technicalities. Let's try the model. First, you need a little helper. Go into your Comfy UI Manager and install the DFloat 11 custom nodes. This tells Comfy UI how to read the DFloat 11 model format. Make sure to also update all your installed nodes by clicking Check Update. Select All and click Update. Next, search for Comfy UI DFloat 11. Select the one under the Lean Models author and click Install. Then, restart your Comfy UI. Second, you need to find models specially created in the DFloat 11 format. They usually have the DF11 in their names. Download it and place it in your standard Diffusion Models folder, maybe under a DF11 subfolder. Visit their GitHub repo for more details of the models. Load the basic sample template from the menu. Click Getting Started and select the first item, Image Generation. Delete the default checkpoint loader and replace it with a DFloat 11 model loader. Double click on the canvas and search for DFloat 11 model loader. Drag and connect it to the K sampler node and pick the DF11 model. Double click and search for dual clip loader. Connect it to the text prompt node. Connect the text prompt node to a conditioning zero out node and hook it to the K sampler node. Select your clip models. Then, add a VAE loader node and connect it to the VAE decode node. Now, in your workflow that you have replaced the new DFloat 11 model loader node instead of the regular loader node, select your new DFloat 11 model, wire it up, and click Run. You're getting the best quality with the smallest file size all in Comfy UI. Smaller file size, lossless quality, faster image generation, include a stylized image made with DF11. So, to wrap it up for Comfy UI beginners, GGUF. Great for running big models on a tiny, low VRAM setup, but the quality might take a hit. BF16, the original, huge, highest quality version, DFloat11, the new champion, it's perfectly compressed, giving you the smallest file size with 100% of the original quality 
and the speed your GPU loves. If you found this explanation helpful and are excited to try Dfloat 11 in your Comfy UI workflows, smash that like button and subscribe for more AI art tips. Let me know in the comments if you're able to run a model with Dfloat 11 that you couldn't run before. Have fun and I'll be back.